There we go. <laughs> All right, second game of our double header is going to be Street Fighters Turbo Max versus the real American heroes, Ian versus Dead Fred, Chaos Renegades versus Dark Elves, the home team this evening in Street Fighters Turbo Max. He has three, <laughs> come on. <laughs> He's got three leveled players. He's got, uh, so, so the Chaos Renegades are just a mishmash of, of different races. They've got the Human Lyman. They can take up the three big guys. He's got two of them. Um, and, and then they can take a bunch of extra positionals. So he's got a Dark Elf. He has an Orc. He has a Skaven player. He has a Goblin. They all have animosity towards everyone. <laughs> they hate each other. They hate each other's guts. He has Zangief the Ogre, who's picked up the Guard Skill. Very solid pickup on an Ogre. He has Akuma the Renegade Rat Ogre. We've seen the Rat Ogre in the game earlier this evening. He's picked up Juggernaut. Juggernaut, not a bad pickup either. Man, <laughs> these teams. Uh, he will be down Ryu this week. Ryu, uh, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Uh, he'll be down Ryu this week. Uh, Ryu's passing ability will be increased to a five plus or decreased, I should say, to a five plus. Uh, the numbers are backwards in the BB2020. Three rerolls, four dedicated fans, one cheerleader, one oppo. He's gonna be up against. Ryu was a rage slime, it's true, it's true. I, I stopped Ryu's fireballs. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> the real Amer- yeah. Yeah, here we go. The real American heroes coached by Dead Fred. They're coming in a TV of 990,000 gold. Uh, they're picking, they've got Four blitzers, four, not two, four blitzers, two of which are blodgers. He has Duke the runner and everybody else is a dark half lineman. These uh, elves being elves, they have uh, AG2 across the board. They're being, uh, these particular elves being dark elves, they have an AV of nine plus. Uh, and then these blodgers are gonna be an absolute nightmare for Ian this evening, how the two teams play. Not too dissimilar to what we just saw. This chaos team, uh, this chaos running team, I still have trouble really blocking how how to properly play it, but he does have the two uh, the two uh, big guys with that strength of five to to control the pitch. He's got block on Zangi to to give that assist. He's got Akuma with Frenzy with Juggernaut with Mighty Blow. They'll be trying to get removals that way against uh, the Stark Elf team. They're they're not they're not really all that fragile. They're you know they have an AV of uh, of nine plus, so they're they're pretty. They're average, but compared to other elves, they're not they're not brittle. So uh, he'll try to put on the hurt. He's going to try to leverage Mighty Blow with these two players with Mighty Blow. Uh, otherwise, I don't really know what he's going to do. I think he's going to try to bash, bash and run, play this kind of like an orc team. Um, the Skaven is uh, fragile. Of course, the Goblin is weak and fragile. Uh, those could be uh, targets for Dead Fred tonight, but Dead Fred being the Stark Elf team, he's going to play it very similar to what we saw with the Skaven team, except he's got passing options as well. All these players with that AG2 makes them excellent receivers, and uh, he's got... I don't want to see statistics. He's got a PA of 4 plus across the board, except for the runner, of course, has 3 plus and has dump off, so if he is the target of a block, he gets a quick pass off. He can just interrupt the block, throw a quick pass that can be really huge if his players are in position a quick pass to a handoff can easily be a touchdown just like the first game tonight dead fred's gonna try to oh tizzle bizzle thank you for the raid welcome to the stream dead fred's gonna try to uh he's almost certainly gonna be on defense to start with he's gonna try to to not give up too many blocks to these mighty blow high strength players he wants to uh, score whenever he wants to score. Stay away from the opposing team. He'll try to run circles around them. The opposing team is going to try to beat him up. Ian's going to have to position his players uh, carefully and play them to their strengths. He's going to want to get those four die, those six die blocks with that Rat Ogre. He's going to want that, that gutter runner into position to, to score. Um, it's a very tricky team, this Chaos Renegade team. It's just a mishmash, a hodgepodge of players. Um, we'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. So without further ado, let's see if the game's underway. Not quite yet. Tizzle Bizzle, welcome.
both coaches are in Discord and ready to go. So we'll wait for this game to start. Second game of tonight's doubleheader. Again, Cenozoic Park currently in first place with their win this week. They are 2-0-1. Street Fighter Turbo Max and Real American Heroes are 9th and 11th respectively, but don't, uh, don't put too much credence into that. It's just week three, so standings can change wildly. All right, still waiting for this game to get underway. While that's happening, why don't I make sure the scores are correct? I wish I wish this screen had a poll, like uh, uh, like a uh, not a not like a user poll, like a, um I don't know what another word for it would be, but like I, I wish it would. I love these custom pitches, man. A poll, as in like it it asks the server for updates, so I don't have to keep like clicking on the tab to see to see an update. Look at all that warp stone, gross. <laughs> I love that cheerleader. <laughs> oh man, I love these. I love these cinematics. This is great. Uh, I wouldn't be anywhere near this pitch. No, no, it doesn't. Seven fan factor for Street Fighter's Turbo Max. Boy. Boy. Here's the coin toss. Street Fighter Turbo Max are gonna win the coin toss. I imagine, yeah, <laughs> I imagine they're, uh, they're gonna receive here. Real American Heroes setting up in an anchor defense, it looks like. Four players on the line currently. They might bring this down to uh, a three-man line. Rupa says like yeah, this game's gonna make some money. Yeah, seven and four. This game's gonna make some money. Yeah, standard anchor. Uh, an <laughs> I was gonna say anchorage. <laughs> standard anchor formation here for the real American heroes. I am still in awe that I saved one third of my <laughs> insurance. <laughs> Man. Man, one third. Buposh demands death of all elves. What about what about the elves on the Chaos Renegade team? Do they have to die too? Polish says, yes, I said all elves. <laughs> Real American Heroes shifting their defensive line to the left here. Second guessing here. He has 30 seconds left to decide. Sigmar Sleep says, there's only one, but there's, but it's okay. I don't think it is okay. <laughs> they all live and they all die. You pick. <laughs> no favorites. <laughs> Look, you cannot keep Vega alive. He, he has named this team after Super Turbo, and he has Vega. You have to, you are obligated to want Vega to be removed. <laughs> Here's the kick. And it's a blitz. Gets a one on the D3. Four open players get to take a free action here by the Real American Heroes. Middling kick. Are they gonna are they gonna blitz uh Dawson or Dan perhaps and then try to apply some early pressure here?
Looks like the Blitz is going up against Dan. Here it is, two-die Blitz. <laughs> oh no, oh no, full double skulls. Double skulls here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, Nuffle, you tease. <laughs> Turn one in this game, underway. Food polish, thank you for the bits. Dude, I'm black on the line, gets a push here. <laughs> Speaker says, well, Nuffle may finally be putting the elves in their place. We shall see. We shall see. Two die block on the line once more. This time on the left side of the line against Major Blood. Gets a knockdown. It's a stun out. Two die blitz with the Rat Ogre. Gets the knockdown on Shipwreck. Remember, it has to follow up due to Frenzy, he has no choice. Probably hoping for a push there instead, but, uh, you know, knockdown, you'll take it. You'll take it. Fails boneheaded on Zangief. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> so Zangief is now boneheaded. He decided not to roll that. Zangief also has loner. He will almost never roll, uh, try to re-roll that. Uh, Zangief has lost his tackle zones, importantly. Uh, until he succeeds on a boneheaded roll later in the game. Ball will move up to ST's own 10 yard line. Plus dodge fails here. Oh, get out of town. Get out of town! Failed the dodge with the uh, the journeyman lineman. Spent the reroll, got through loner, and tried to foul Destro out of this game. That's the blodger. So that foul's a good call, right? That's a... Yeah, if you want to get rid of a, a blodger, you know, they're very, very hard to knock down. Once you knock them down, fouling's a, a good way to try to get that removal on such a key player. But man, got through that loner roll. Turn one now for the Real American Heroes. new car doesn't is, it's not a sedan anymore so i have to get used to having worthless back seats again <laughs> comes a blitz on, on sagat they're gonna knock down here needs a nine plus four blitzers on this dark elf team that's four players that start with the block skill Yo, I played this game. I played this game last night. Do you remember like those old labyrinth games, you know, with the marble on, on a wooden board and you tilt, tilt it and stuff? It's like a kid's game, but it, imagine labyrinth with, with dynamite and obstacles and bad guys. <laughs> it's great. It's so, it's so much fun. Dude, I block double pals here on Zangief. Don't want to get sucked into a spinning pile driver. They'll get the knockdown. Can't break armor. Big, big AB of 10 plus.
Helmut Marina says, and you leave us hanging is the name of the game. Uh, it is called Slide Quest. S L I D E. Slide Quest. I have it right here beside me. <laughs> Real American Heroes. 25 seconds into bonus time now as they position the rest of their defense to try, try to keep the defensive formation intact and be effective against uh, offensive movements here. There's the successful boneheaded roll, so this ogre will regain their tackle zones and moves right back up to center pitch to mark four elven players. Die blitz by the Rat Ogre gets a pal here against Flint. Needs the nine plus. Mighty Blow could make that an eight plus, but doesn't break armor. And then marks marks Flint and Duke as well with Blanca. So trying to pick off these Elven players so they have nowhere to go. They have to make negative dodges to get away. Duke can make a positive dodge out here. Moves the ball across the line of scrimmage in the left wide zone. Ball now on the opposing two yard line. There's a foul. You use that guy from the foul. That's his job. Got a KO out of it. Well done. And that's a one-man player advantage for ST. That is exactly the job of the Gabo. Doesn't get called off the pitch. Turn two now for the Real American Heroes. see Ian has set up a, a wall here he set up a wall uh, a wall here like this he's trying to keep these players out of the drive right so push these guys away from the ball lock these guys down so they can't move anywhere and uh, that's how he's gonna try to control the pitch here it's a push on Zangief They'll get a push on Skullamania here as well. Skullamania needs to make a return to Street Fighter. If they put Skullamania in Street Fighter 6, I'll play Street Fighter 6 again. But not a moment, not a moment before that. <laughs> not with Tekken 8 coming out tomorrow. Die block against Blanca gets the knockdown. 10 plus, very resilient orcs. Yeah. Renegade Game Studios like re reprinted Acquire, the old 60s game Acquire, which I like. Good, uh, past tense, maybe. I, I haven't played it in a very long time. I was going to buy it, but it's like 60 bucks. And I was like, man, there are a lot better economic games <laughs> than Acquired. It is a classic. It's a Sid Saxon classic. But uh, I don't know if I want to pay 60 bucks for Acquired. I'd pay $30 for Acquired. Maybe. <laughs> Two dive block on Dan here. Gets the knockdown. I'm sorry, by Dan gets the knockdown on Shipwreck. Nope. Shipwreck on Dan. 
I, got that. I saw real American heroes. I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Six minutes, 22 seconds left in bonus time for the Real American Heroes. They send uh, Meth Methraton? I don't even, I gotta look up who this is. Meth Methraton? Who is Methraton? Did I say this last week? I just I thought it was a transformer. I I know transformers. <laughs> and while I don't I, I obviously don't know every single thing about transformers, I I feel very conf confident that Mithraton is not a transformer. It's Megatron's cousin <laughs> from Arizona. Would it be Arizona? Is, is Ari would it would it be like uh, would it be like uh, like Indiana or something? <laughs> yeah, Megatron. He's just like <laughs> we need more energon, and Metatron's like yeah, yeah, but uh, but man, you holding? <laughs> Man, well, while we're doing that, while we're doing that, Megatron, what about, uh, what if we just go down, go down the block, man? Come on, man. Megatron, come on, man. I'm dying here, Megatron. 2 die block gets a pal here. There <laughs> are PSAs. <laughs> PSA is about Mithrafun. <laughs> if you see a <laughs> if you see a transforming robot meth head, <laughs> go, go to the nearest adult. Guess it's a boneheader roll. Zangief is gonna mark shipwreck and major blood across the line of scrimmage. Ball advances to the four yard line over in the left wide zone. <laughs> All new says, he was the one that transformed into a pipe, right? <laughs> Part of the drug paraphernalia line of Hasbro toys for children. <laughs> Six minutes, 30 seconds left with bonus time for Street Fighter's Turbo Max. Decided on this one die block, he takes it here. He's gonna get a both down result. And nothing happens. That'll be a turnover. Real American Heroes now on turn three. I tell you, man, all I ever wanted, not all I ever wanted, I want lots of things, but in, four, in terms of Transformers, I wanted like an accurate modern gun version of Megatron. And some years ago, they came out with that as part of a Transformers Masterpiece line. Super excited. Got my Megatron. Uh, it is the biggest pain, <laughs> pain in the ass to transform. It is. I will never, ever touch it for the rest of existence. Oh, it is so complicated. <laughs> I'm glad I have it. <laughs> I'm glad I've experienced it, but I never want to transform it again. <laughs> oh, man. Under a minute to go for the real American heroes. They're trying to find out a way to crack open this cage or at least stop this movement. It's going to be really tough for them to stop this forward movement. Mo movement, <laughs> forward momentum, uh, with all this strength and these constant marks that uh, ST is going to make with these high strength players, uh, this rat ogre with frenzy just carving out sections of the pitch. He uh, might need to start considering a plan to try to get after this ball.
Man, I want fondue. That's what I want. I want some fondue. I want, I want like three hours of fondue. Double skulls against Blanca. Will he re-roll this? He does. I think it was a good call. Gets pushed. Uh, double pushes here against Blanca. Dawson stood up Flint. Is he going to try to dodge Flint? Is that the plan? Takes a two-die block back at mid-pitch. Gets a push against Skullamania. Skullamania with an injury, by the way. If, uh, if he has to roll on the injury table, he'll be a plus one. Yeah, man. I'd be, I, uh, I just... A whole, a whole meal of fondue would be glorious. Real American here is st uh, stand up flint. Go for the uphill block. Which one's it gonna be? Well, it's gonna be the both down result, I wager. All right, and that'll be a turnover. Took the uphill block on uh, on Akuma. Trying to get at this cage. I, I I think that was not a bad decision. And so now turn four for St. Trying to figure out which direction to go. <sighs> Two die block. Gets a pal here with Zangief. He has Mighty Blow as well. Remember that AV can be treated as an A plus if he needs it. There's the armor break. Got a stun. Didn't need it on the armor roll there. He rolled natural nine, so he got a plus one to the injury roll, but that wasn't enough. I know that run. That's a human lineman run. He moves Dalsum into position to mark Flint and Duke. Stand up, Rat Ogre Blitz. Gets a push on Flint. Chain pushes into Hawk. And we'll get a knockdown here. And sets up for a surf here against Hawk. It's a stun. Well done here by ST. See where this end ball ends up going. He's got uh, a number of free players if he wants to reset a cage. Just keeping a, a, a Tetris piece of a formation here. Lining them up. Says, come at me, bro. Do your worst. Under six minutes left in bonus time for ST. They have one reroll left for the half. Both teams with an oppo still. One die block at Meth <laughs> Methreton. We'll get a knockdown here. Looking for a nine plus. Doesn't get it. A number of one die blocks in store for both these coaches until the tie turns. Turn four, final turn of this first quarter. Real American heroes now. Realizing that they wouldn't be able to stop this mad frenzy push for the running game. Had to take a chance. It's worked out and now they're in a little bit of a scrum here. And uh, we'll see if he can get the edge on, on a tactic. Right, try to get that just that key to die block that can cause this formation to start tumbling down. Very simple example is when you're on a line of scrimmage, you know, if you're up against three man line and you base them with your players, 
Let's say they're each everybody's strength three right now. It's a one die block everywhere. You set up a, a second guy here. You block him down, and now you've got two die blocks all across the line. So you can set up these chain blocks. Um, if you're careful, you can set up chain blocks uh, to your advantage, and this can be a, a good a good tactic to use to gain the upper hand against your opponent. Yeah, yeah, Al Nubarina says, guard on that ogre makes cracking the cage so much harder. Yeah, guard is a great pickup for a, 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 a level two ogre, or a level two big guy in general. That means this ogre is always lending an assist whether he's marked or not. And if it was a strength three player, uh, the way to, to negate that, that guard would be to knock him down. But on a strength five player, it's just, you have to dedicate so many pieces to him. Fans of Dodge spend the final reroll to get Major Blood just behind the ball carrier and pointing to the cheerleader. <laughs> Do they have history? I love that so much. <laughs> Uphill block again and again, a both down result here. It's gonna favor ST. Yeah, favors ST KO against the real American heroes. As people said, I just picked up guard on both my mummies. Curious how that's going to play out for me. Uh, I think those are solid picks. In fact, I. I Man, I has I, I I don't know what I, off the top of my head I can't I can't really think of something I I would take even with a tenuous argument that I would take beyond guard on a on an undead mummy. Yeah, Jared works says I saved up for block on my Crocs. I saw that um, in the pregame you had somebody who uh, who wanted block. I think it might have been the Crocs, uh, but it's secondary skills. So you need 12 SVP for it. Two die block against Tomax gets the pal here back at mid pitch. Spends a reroll here to get the pow on Hawk. He'll get the surf. And that is a key player off the pitch. Got rid of that block. Whoa! Got rid of the blodging Dark Elf. The Aqua is going to get spent. That doesn't look like it's going to save anyone. That just looked like you were chopping him to bits. Yeah, you always want to try to find a, a, a reliable way to remove pieces that are very difficult to knock down or otherwise remove. So surfing is a good way to do that. Fouling is another good way to do that. Good block here by Ian. The ball is going to shift back to mid pitch at the opposing eight yard line. Ball in the hands of Vega. Boo. Two die block with a pound. If you're unfamiliar in Super Street, though, good KO. In Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Vega is legitimately broken, but not broken enough to be banned. It's like, it's broken enough to just kind of be funny. <laughs> so Vega could like, so if Vega knocks you down, he can jump into the air and jump off the wall and direct his movement to the air in such a way that when you stand up, uh, uh, they call it waking up, when you wake up, 
it's basically just a 50 50 guess <laughs> and if you guess wrong you get hit and then you're back on the ground and he, he loops it all over again <laughs> and in that you know super turbo is a, an old game right so the damage was really really high <laughs> it's like you only needed a few of those Jared Wilk says, why is one of the KO I got kind of so much bigger than the other one? Oh, because that's a super KO. That That's a KO on Destro. <laughs> this is just on Duke. <laughs> on Destro, <laughs> you got to get through his 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 metal face, <laughs> you see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's bigger. <laughs> Hyper combo finish! Good dodge to take a mark on Vega. Yeah, Dead Fred had to do something like we were talking about. Uh, and now he's successfully broken up this offense. He's taken his licks. But if he can get this ball back and recover and score, I think I think you call that worth it. Two die blitz. He'll get the knockdown here. We'll see where the ball will scatter. <laughs> into the into the buttery smooth fingers of Tomax. Good pick up by Zartan after the blitz and gets the ball on the opposing two yard line. Well done here by Dead Fred. Dead Fred putting in the work and doing exactly what he needed to do there. Had to do something, had to apply that pressure. He wouldn't be able to stop the run was able to get this ball away here, recover it, and now he needs to find a way to protect this ball carrier. I think we'll probably see a dodge by Major Blood. Dead Fred taking his time, trying to figure out how to keep this ball carrier as safe as he can. There's the dodge. And he takes a mark with Major Blood. That's going to eat up one of those blocks. And then uh, only Skullamania. So otherwise, what would have happened is Sagat would have come in for the assist, Skullamania would come in for the block, right? Um, Ian's still going to try to find a way to do that. But now, by positioning his player where he is, one of these players has to knock down Sagat, and then the other player would have to come in for the one-die blitz. Ian's going to try to find a way to make this a two die. He has Guile. Yeah, here comes Guile to get an assist on Major Blood. Not sure what the plan is yet. He can also dodge away Vega to get an assist on Zartan. Two die block on Major Blood. This will be a knockdown. Nine plus breaks armor, but really he just wants to get this guy out of the way. This frees up Sagat. He definitely doesn't want to go one die against Zartan. Zartan has the block skill. There's Sagat. Gets Sagat in front of Zartan just in case the block goes awry. Reposition Zangief. To Mark Tomax and Zamet. He's blitzing with the loner <laughs> Dark Elf. Alright. Oh no, that's animosity. <laughs> I was like, oh, is he is he a uh, a journeyman? But no, he's Vega. Alright, he'll get a push out of this. Yeah, good positioning here. So what he ended up doing, ball carrier is here. He put a guy here. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be a circle. <laughs> put a guy here. Uh, he came in for the blitz this way. So if this blitz resulted in a push, he pushes the ball carrier here. And now that ball carrier still has a negative dodge to get out of this predicament. He has two players on either side of this ball carrier. 
So that's a minus one dodge here and then a positive dodge. Two dodges that he has to make, one of which is negative. Very good positioning here by Ian. Dude, I block way over in the left wide zone. Gets a push on the shipwreck. Turn six for the real American heroes now. Now it's time for Dead Fred to figure out some positioning here, just as Ian did, to try to break free this ball carrier. That ball carrier, remember, has the block skill. So Dead Fred probably, maybe I shouldn't say probably, but I imagine he's trying to find a way. He's like, how can I make this a safe blitz with Zartan? Blitz him free. Not quite in the swearing position yet, but he does want to leverage that block skill if he can. Neither coach with a reroll remaining. Gets up major blood. Well, New Marina says a reroll would be nice to, set, to have for dodges to set up for those assists. Rerolls are huge in this game. Huge. You roll a d6, there's just six different results you can get. If you need a 50-50, you know, if you need three of those results, that's a 50-50, right? And uh, if you get to re-roll that, it's no longer 50%, it's 75%. That's a big, big difference. I always use that as an example because it it makes it very clear to, to most people just how big the difference is between rolling a die once and rolling a die twice, right? The difference is much less when you when you start to talk about wider, wider domains of numbers, right? Uh, so in the game of Blood Bowl, Rerolls are very important and you want to have them on deck and uh, really the calculations for all that are really shaken up with these new rules of BB 2020. It used to be the fact that you could only spend one team reroll uh, a turn. Now you can spend... <laughs> Can't find a way to make the blitz! Can't find a way to make the blitz work he just goes for the two dodges there. Why not? Why not? Three plus dodge to a two plus dodge. Oh, yo! Tried to rush to make the ball carrier safe. Didn't hear about the rush warning. That's right, GFI's failed 900% of the time. Speaking of odds. <laughs> Never rush. <laughs> Never rush. If you're new to the game, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. <laughs> there will be plenty of times where you will want to run. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> Another fail rush. <laughs> Turn seven for the real American heroes. Oh boy. <laughs> Von Roo, welcome to the stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Metherton used to used to rush and look where it got him. <laughs> well, you know what it is. It's <laughs> SPP. Thank you for the bits of the emergency rush warning. <laughs> Oh, the coach is going to use that a little bit sooner. <laughs> it's all the gravel. That's what it is. It's just really slick. <laughs> There's nowhere for the cleats to really dig in. One minute, 20 seconds pass here for the real American heroes. He's trying to find a way to recover this ball and score. That's that's true. They are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> I mean, they're glowing. They can't. Yeah. They're gonna be like gross and wet and stuff. 
One die blitz into a skull. Zartan's gonna be knocked down. Final turn of the first half here. Street Fighter Turbo Max, they're up first. Can they recover this ball and prevent the score? Oh, can they get it to Ken? Can they recover this ball and get it to Ken? Good dodge to a good pickup. He's gonna throw. All right. Interception. Well, it's called it's pass interference attempt. It used to be called an interception attempt. We'll see if uh, this works out. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Where is he? One, two, three, four, five. All right. Two rushes. Two rushes to do it. Oh, is he already? He's already activated, isn't he? <laughs> not, not quite the intended return receiver that he wanted. <laughs> but, uh,. Good for you, Blanca. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. Dude, I block. Gets a power against Zemet. He has Mighty Blow plus one here. AV is effectively an eight plus. Doesn't break armor. Just a little over four minutes left on the clock for each coach here in bonus time for the rest of the game. Remember, at the end of the half, each team will get back their team rerolls. And if we're lucky, we'll get another prayer to Nuffo. Two die block. Back in the scrum in the left wide zone. Over on with Real American Hero side of the pitch. KO by Akuma against Methraton. Five removals for ST. Five man player advantage. We'll see how many of those KOs, KOs come back. Dead Fred is due two. Well, he's not due any, but on average he'll get two back. Here comes a foul. Got caught off the pitch. Got a stun. Didn't really get what he was looking for here. That's the that's that's one of the jobs of that goblin, right? That goblin can foul. It's a cheap player that you can foul with. He can you can assist with him. He can he's stunty and has dodge. You can get him to where he needs to be to lend an assist. Went for the foul to try to take out Zamet. Uh, didn't work out. Got call off the pitch. Final turn of the first half here. Dead Fred. Uh, I don't think he can do anything. Oh no, he can. He can get the ball to Major Blood. He can get the ball to Major Blood or Zartan. Probably Major Blood though. Maybe a stand-up blitz with Zartan. He does have the block skill. It'd be favored for him. Do a one-die blitz with block. Oh no, he's got to blitz the ball carrier. I forgot the balls in the hands of Blanca. There's one mark on Blanca. One strength three blitz will make that a two-die blitz. Well, <laughs> not when you fail the two plus dodge. You're an elf. <laughs> zero zero at the helm. Well done. Well played by both teams. I really think Dead Fred stepped up there with his defense to, to stop that score. Uh, ST was just pushing with that strength. That's what they should have done. And Dead Fred came back and said, I can't keep letting you do that. I can't keep giving up pitch inch after inch, yard after the yard. I've got to make something happen. And he did it. Almost scored, too. Well done.
ST setting up with a three-man defensive line. Zangief, the middle uh, defensive tackle. He's got Akuma, the middle linebacker. Very tight, very tight uh, defense here. Giving up the sidelines. Safeties are very shallow. Bedford has the speed to try to try to impose this defense. We'll see if he does. We'll see if he tries to score early. If he can stall this out, um, then yeah, he got back exactly two KOs. If he can stall this out, he can hope for the win. If he scores early, he's gonna have to have a plan to to stop the offense from scoring and uh, drawing this game out. <laughs> the old rat in a box. <laughs> Three man offensive line. Strong on the left side here for the Real American Heroes. We're leaving major blood on the line, uh, but unmarked by anyone. Real American Heroes will be down three players. It'll be a two-man player advantage for Street Fighters Turbo Max. SD will have three re-rolls. They still have their oppo, while Real American Heroes have two re-rolls for the game. Regular play can end in a draw. Playoffs cannot, nor can the Blood Bowl. There's the kick. Let's see where Ian chooses to kick this. Does he think he can? Does he think he might have a shot at getting me after it if he kicked it shallow? Oh, boy, boy. So he kicks it deep. He got a two on the D3. And now it's his turn to blitz. Let's see if Nuffle will be as funny as he was in the first half. Takes a mark on Zamet with Zangief. Zangief, the, uh, the ogre on the team. Two die blitz by the Rat Ogre. Gets a push on Destro to follow up with another frenzy block into another push. BB not welcome to the stream. Says need to guard that middle uh, line of scrimmage. Fair enough indeed. Ken running down pitch here. Applying early pressure. Ken, the, uh, the Skaven player on the ST team. Here comes the Elf Vega. Here comes that 50-50 Vortex Vega. Two dive block back to the line of scrimmage. Gets a push here against Destro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ken does. Vega doesn't. <laughs> Turn nine now for the Real American Heroes. Uh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, this is the channel that streams uh, uh, Mammal League games. Uh, Real American Heroes, or uh, that's a reference to GI Joe. <laughs> it's a it, it's a worldwide league, but uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a reference to GI Joe. Dead Fred named all of his characters, with the odd exception of one, maybe <laughs> he named them all after GI Joe characters. <laughs> but I would say I, I would say most uh, most players are, are U.S. or maybe even everyone is. I, I'm not really sure to be honest. <laughs> Takes a mark with Zartan. So if you're new to the game of Blood Bowl, you may have seen lots and lots of die rolls, and you think to yourself, well, this this is a game with lots of dice. It must be random, right? Well, yes, but no. So you have so many decisions to make, so many choices you can make. Uh, you want to make the odds better for you and worse for your opponent. So one of the ways to do that is to take your least risky actions first and your more risky actions last. So you'll see Dead Fred on the beginning of his turn. He'll be moving players into position first because there are no die rolls associated with that. Um, and then he'll take more and more risky actions as the turn goes on if his opponent uh, will allow him to do so. That's because 
with very few exceptions, if you fail a die roll in this game, your turn will be over. The game refers to it naturally as a turnover. Um, not to be confused with the ball changing sides, but your, your turn ends. And so if, you're, if you get a turnover with your first action, you've just missed out on 10 more actions on your turn. Yeah, BB9 uh, says, now that BB3 uh, three is in a better state, I want to start looking at elite. Yeah, um, ours is set up in such a way that, uh, you know, we, we're friendly to new coaches and seasoned coaches. Um, everybody, you know, is helpful and, and friendly and fun. But the, the rules are set up in such a way that uh, uh, people don't have to commit to the whole season. They just really commit to one competition at a time. It's one game a week. You know, uh, and then we have rules in place in case somebody can't make the game and stuff. Just, we really just want to have a vehicle for people to be able to play this game and still remain competitive. So, uh, again, the, the rules are, are set up in such a way that you can play. We, we have three open competitions a season, and then we have one invitational. And the winners from each uh, competition and the, and the runners up will advance to the invitational for the championship. Uh, but you. You can play your whole team all season, all three opens. Um, or you might just, you know, some coaches play a different team each each competition. Uh, we had one coach one season. He just played for one competition and he advanced to the Blood Bowl. So uh, it, it's... The, the league is set up in such a way that you don't fall behind. Um, you, you play what you want. Um, and so long as you, you know, rack up those wins right <laughs> you can you can uh uh make it to the to the finals so yeah uh if you want to play with us that'd be totally cool again we have three open competitions they're open to everyone um our next open will be this is the chaos cup our next one will be the spike magazine trophy after this one's over we're uh we're in week three of six of the chaos cup after week six we'll have our top four cut uh we'll crown a champion and then uh and then it'll be the Spike Magazine Trophy. So we'll just start accepting uh, registrations uh, for the Spike Magazine Trophy. Two rushes to take a mark on Tomax, who's in control of the ball, currently in the left wide zone on the opposing 12-yard line. Four seconds left on the clock here for ST. They have three minutes, 32 seconds left in bonus time for the game. Failed the animal savagery roll here. Is he next to a teammate? I don't think he is. Boy. Boy. Spent the reroll. Got through the loner roll. Gets a push. Frenzy follow up. We get another push here. ST applying the pressure here, trying to stop the score in a very similar manner to the way Dead Fred did in the first half of the game. ST with plenty of players left to activate. Failed the boneheaded roll on the. Wow! <laughs> Failed the boneheaded roll on the over. He wanted to get that movement, spent another reroll, got through Loner again. Succeeded on the boneheaded roll and now takes a mark on Major Blood. And with that movement, that that'll do it after this block. Dawson with the two-die block. Oh, both down result. I can't imagine he's gonna spin his final reroll. Yeah. Takes the both down results. That'll be a turnover. Turn 10 to the Real American Heroes. One reroll left for ST. Oh, thank you very much, BB Nut. Yeah, I I just straight up I love Blood Bowl. <laughs> and I think 
I think most people in the league just love this game too. I mean, why else would you play it, right? Like, I just, I just, I love this game. I just want to share it with people and play it and have fun and have a great time. <laughs> so, thank you. I, I appreciate your kind words. Takes a mark on Blanca has a has a two die block with gung ho on Blanca at mid pitch. Gonna look for a way to free up Tomax. Try to score this turn. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, thank you, Von Roo. I appreciate it. Fifty seconds left in turn ten for the real American heroes. Trying to find a way to score here. The introduction of bonus time into Blood Bowl 3 means that once the time is run down, you have two minutes on the clock. Once the two minutes have run out, you can dip into your bonus pool. You get seven minutes, 30 seconds for the entire game. So if you really need to concentrate and you have a big, important play, you don't have to rush. Von Roo says you have different commentators too, right? The NFL Vibe your broadcast is cool. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, um, in fact, uh, one of the coaches that is playing right now uh, last season, uh, <laughs> Well, great score. Well done by Dead Fred here. Uh, Ian, for uh, the coach for Street Fighter Store with Max, he would he would commentate with me last, last season. It was a lot of fun. One to zero. Real American Heroes take the lead here in the second half of the game. They're going to set up on defense now. They're down two players. So they'll have nine players set up on the pitch on defense. ST will set up on offense. They will have 10 players. It'll be a one-man player advantage for Street Fighters Turbo Max. They'll have one reroll. The Real American Heroes still have two. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Bupa says another drive, another blitz. Oh, only Nuffle knows. <laughs> only Nuffle can say. Real American Heroes breaking out of the anchor formation now. They're putting uh, a player in either wide zone. Currently four players on the line, four defensive tackles. Three-man wide line here. Secondary in tight on the defense. Ten seconds left for Dead Fred to set up, and there it is. Giving up those sidelines. He's got the speed to do it. Lodger comes back on the pitch. Destro. Block and dodge. Only the pal will knock down Destro. And now ST sets up. For their turn, their offensive drive in the second half here. <laughs> Boot polish says we need a Taylor Swift sound alert. Uh, do we? <laughs> I mean, we can, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, here's the kick. Vega back to receive. Shallow kick here. <laughs> Kicks it right into the hands of Skullomania. Again, Capcom, I promise you, if you put Skullomania in Street Fighter 6, I will play Street Fighter 6 again. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Skullomania, <laughs> the injured, he's got a skull, I love it. <laughs> Skullomania, the injured human lineman over in the right wide zone. He's on the four yard line. Vega's gonna come in on the right corner, back right corner of uh, Skullomania. Blanca's gonna cover in front.
Ken. Ken, the Skaven player, back left corner of this cage. And now dice are being rolled. Zamet is the target. Two die block. It's a both down result unless ST spends their final reroll. They do. They roll into a pal. They need a nine plus to break armor. No more rerolls left for ST. <laughs> go, Skull, go! Takes a mark on Tomax, who's over in the right wide line, uh, white, right wide zone. It's the two die Rat Ogre Blitz here. We'll get the foul, has to follow up. Mighty Blow in play. Gets a stun. Well done. ST shifting this offense over to the right after that, uh, that shallow kick. Oh, two die block. This is going to be a both down result. And that's a turnover. Turn 11 now to the Real American Heroes. They're in the lead currently. Dead Fred, considering his options here. Both these coaches dipping into this bonus time uh, as they see fit. That's what I do. <laughs> but we saw uh, in the game earlier this evening, we saw uh, Spire really just on point with his time management. Uh, Nick Satan as well. Stands up flint at mid pitch. For a minute, minute into the into the turn here. Big Fred trying to figure out where he wants this defense to be positioned. Does he want to shift to the right? Does he want to cover mid pitch? Does he want to do both? Does he want to start to apply some pressure on this cage? But if he does that, he's going to need to hold this hold this run for at least a turn. Minute 30 into the turn, no action other than the stand-up by Flint. Takes a mark on Walla and the Rat Ogre with Duke. Duke the runner. Duke, who was killed by Serpentor, but then lived somehow. <laughs> lived because Hasbro realized that killing Optimus Prime was a bad, a bad decision. <laughs> That's it. Three minutes left on the bonus clock for Real American Heroes now. They have most of their team action here. Here's the Blitz. One die Blitz. This will work out due to the block skill. And they broke armor on that Red Ogre. Got a stun. Well done. Well done by Dead Fred here. Went in for the Blitz to take out that Red Ogre. One die block with the block skill worked out. And they got a great stun out of it. SB Beaver says that constant ticking from the clock. Yeah, I know. I know it's 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 the worst when it's like stuck for a turn. <laughs> oh, thanks, BB Nut. I appreciate it. <laughs> Two die blocks are both down. Result. Major Blood's gonna be stunned in the trade, and now turn eleven back to ST. It's the new, yeah, it's the BB-3 chainsaw. <laughs> Stands up, Zangief. Two die blitz on Flint. Look at the knockdown here. Looking for a nine plus. It's gonna push him, keep him marked by Zangief. Follows up, breaks armor. That's a stun. So there's plenty of movement left with Dan. <laughs> oh, 
SB Beaver, thank you for the bits. You are tempting Nuffle there. That was what Nuffle chose? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Good handoff to Vega. Naturally, Vega. Vega with an AG of two. He's the Dark Elf on the team. Vega moves back to mid pitch. He's gonna try to cage up here. Think about dodging Dalsum? Nope. He knows he has no rerolls left. Speed Beaver says Vega's our hero, right? Vega is no one's hero. <laughs> Unless it's not Super Turbo. Vega and any other in, in Street Fighter 4 is fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> Vega in Super Turbo is broken. <laughs> but in a fun way. Von Ru rooting for the offense. He says, go Skull, go! <laughs> Good dodge here by Walla. Turn 12 for the real American heroes. Dead Fred now. Two rerolls left. He's currently in the lead. He wants to stop this score for five turns in order to get this win on the table. I love, I love this ST cheerleader so much. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> I really like how in Blood Bowl 3 your staff is on the sideline now. I think that's fantastic. I love that. Takes a mark on Dan. Duke, the leader of the Joes. Gonna be marking Dan at uh, mid-pitch here. One die block into a push. Went after Zartan. Chose the push. Doesn't quite know where he wants to push Zartan, however. Ends up pushing Zartan across the line of scrimmage here. Will he follow up? I am not so sure he will. And he's going to stay put here. Now he gets the two die block on Wall um, Walla. Who's Walla? <laughs> Frank's armor gets a KO. Well done. Well done. Now the tables are turning. All tied up on the pitch. Nine v nine now. Player advantage has been removed here. Good work by Dead Fred. Dead Fred with a minute 45 left on the bonus clock. BB not asked, do all the teams have themes? Yeah, SB Beaver's right. Like, it's up to the coaches, but uh, generally, <laughs> generally they do, yeah. Two die blitz on Dan. Double pals, because of course it'd be double pals. It's Dan. <laughs> Nine plus breaks armor. Doesn't get it. Finish out moving the blitzer Destro over to the left side of the pitch. Still, still in the middle of the pitch, but on the left side here, he's staying in front of this ball carrier. Trying to keep this defensive formation intact. Trying not to give up any lanes to prevent the score. Turn 12 for ST. Under a minute left in bonus time for the Real American Heroes. ST with five turns to try to get on the board. Failed the boneheaded roll with the big guys and Geef. So when a player, when a, a player has boneheaded, they have to roll a D6 on a one. They stand here, you can see the question mark. So all these tackle zones that he was normally holding down, they're gone. He has no more tackle zones here. That's a big loss for ST.
Uh, you're close. It's skill. <laughs> it's skills, the command. Oh, you know what? I think there's a, a hyphen in it. Or bo uh, let me see. I'll look at... There you go. <laughs> there it is. Bonehead. Actually, I think I wrote it... I think I wrote it smartly. <laughs> I think I wrote it to get rid of... Or uh, ignore hyphens and stuff. In the right wide zone, cross the line scrimmage to the opposing two yard line. Stand up blitz by the Rat Ogre is a push. They'll get a frenzy follow up here. Two die follow up into a pal. Mighty blow in play. Can't break the armor. Two die block against Zartan. Gets a knockdown here. Can't break armor. ST trying to break apart this defense, trying to get them into a position where he can break apart the formation. He can start siphoning off players, keeping them out of the drive, pulling them away from the formation, trying to lock them down, get them between uh, the, the ball carrier and themselves so that they can't be effective in uh, lending assists, moving toward the ball carrier, or even taking a block. Turn 13, fourth and final quarter begins here for the Real American Heroes. They are in the lead, one to zero currently. Dead Fred, once again, taking his time on the turn here, but he has to be cognizant of that bonus clock. Flint is prone, he could be moved, he's no longer, oh nope, nope. Nope, that's my mistake. He is marked by Dan. Shifts Destro, the blodger, over to the right wide zone. Blodge, very, very strong. It makes you very resilient. It makes you a real pain to knock down. You add sidestep to it, and it's a nightmare. There are five faces on a, on a Blood Bowl block die. And well, there are six faces on the die, but five distinct icons. And the push result has two faces, is on two, printed on two faces. So if you have both block and dodge, then only the pal will knock you down. You add sidestep to that, and then you can, you can avoid chain, chain blocks. Uh, you can get free movement out of it. It's, it's disgusting. It's awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's very interesting. BB Nuts says, so old Blood Bowl fact, when big guys were first added to the game, they were allies. They followed the rules for the standard teammate, but couldn't use any team or leader rerolls. Loner wasn't a thing at that point. That is very interesting. I I'm fascinated with the history of Blood Bowl. Failed the rush. How many times? How many times are you going to learn? <laughs> or do you need to learn? It spins the reroll here into a push. Went after the ball carrier, but only got a push out of this. Yeah, I think it was, uh, I didn't. I didn't know that. I thought. That, I think it's very interesting. But uh, we did a. We did a. Uh, a history of Blood Bowl episode, on uh, our podcast, which we don't. It's it's. Uh, it's on sabbatical, shall we say? Um, but it, it, the episodes are still live, and you can you can look it up. It's called uh, Mammal Talk. But we did an episode on. Uh, on. The history of Blood Bowl, and I think it was second edition when they introduced GFIs, going for the. Going for the surf here. Good surf on Zamet. Where they called it, uh, it wasn't called going for it, it was called like moving extra squares or something. And for whatever reason, I just find that hilarious. <laughs> it's just so dry. Good surf here by ST. 
That's how you set it up. Both down result, it's gonna be a turnover. Real American Heroes now. Oh boy, there's Vega. There's Vega. Star players were permanently added to your team? What? <laughs> That's wow. <laughs> wow, frenzy, you just keep going <laughs> until you have no MMA left. Wow. Real American Heroes, minute four left on the clock. They just have five seconds in bonus time left for the game. Three turns to try to stop this score. Get Frenzy on a gutter runner and you can serve someone from in here on the pitch. Were that even possible? That's a that's a strength two. <laughs> that's a strength two. <laughs> Frenzy blitz. But yes. <laughs> Setting up his defense here to try to stop the run here. You see, he's running out of time. Sixteen seconds left. He's got the sideline covered here. These are all dodges. Going for the blitz. Ooh, gotta spin the reroll here. Rerolls into a pal. He gets it. Gets the surf. Where's the ball gonna scatter? Is that ball right back where it was? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, what? Ball's gonna scatter back to mid pitch. It's next to that boneheaded ogre Zangief. 50-50 dodge there to get the push and the surf. Well done. Bye, dead Fred. Turn 14 for ST now. <laughs> BP that says it's a fine LPS indeed. <laughs> yes, SP Beaver. Thank you for the bits. Two die block gets a push here. No rerolls left for either team with two and a half turns remaining in the game. ST trying to recover this ball and get on the board to at least draw this game. Got through the Animal Savagery roll here. Going for the Blitz. Two die Blitz gets a pal here. He'll have to follow up due to Frenzy. Thirty seconds left on the clock. ST still has two minutes twenty-three seconds left in bonus time, so they they don't have to rush. Gonna try to recover this ball at some point, but they have no rerolls. Here it is. Failed to pick up with Dan. That's a turnover. It's Dan. He can't pick the ball up with Dan. Dan's fireball doesn't even leave his hand. The <laughs> turn 15 for the real American heroes. Two turns. And they'll win this game here in week number three. So Dan <laughs> had a super in, in Alpha, in Street Fighter Alpha, where it doesn't hit you. <laughs> you spend all your meter and all he does is taunt you for like a solid five seconds. <laughs> mm. 
minute 10 seconds left for the Real American here. There's no time left on the bonus clock here. Dead Fred needs to be cognizant of the clock. He doesn't, he doesn't want to lose, lose this game, or <laughs> not win this game, I should say, uh, due to indecision. But I tell you, man, I, I would have been out of bonus time in turn in turn 12 <laughs> 34 seconds left takes the mark on the ball with a good rush there flink marking the ball good dodge dodges destro away to safety perhaps as a potential receiver if uh if the real American heroes can recover. 13 seconds left on the clock, no bonus time remaining. After 10 seconds, that's it. Good dodge. It's another mark on the ball. Two seconds left. Good three plus pickup by Major Blood. And that is the turn. Turn 15 back to ST. They have to end this turn in scoring position if they have any hope of drawing this game. No rerolls means action order is critical for Street Fighter's Turbo Max. Take a mark on Zartan with Dalson. I mean, if it's Dalson, does he really need to be this close? He could be like here. Takes two die blitz on the ball carrier. Only gets a push out of this. Major Blood's gonna hold on to this ball. block coming up to die block another push push him into the rat right over yeah and get another block out of this major blood holding on to this ball for dear life frenzy block this well he might take them both down he's gonna take the push follow up here to die block finally gets a knockdown on major blood we'll see where the ball scatters It is one space toward the Real American Heroes end zone. ST now trying to recover this ball. Good three plus dodge by the Orc. Good rush into a good pickup. Well done. Well done. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. He's got a he's got a GF or he's got a rush. He's got a rush if he's scoring with Blanca. Oh no! Oh no! He's too far out. I guess, I guess Ken, Ken's the uh, person who's gonna score. All right, well, Ken is the only, the only player who can score now for ST. Ken gets knocked down. That's it. The Real American Heroes will win this one. Minute 25 left in the game. Real American Heroes in, or left in the turn, rather. Real American Heroes in the lead. <laughs> it's BB versus maybe Dead Fred will blitz a four in a space. <laughs> He's just that kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, there's the mark on Ken. I think he, he realizes Ken's the threat, but uh, he has nobody free. Except Destro, but good dodge into two eye block, double skulls. Oh no! <laughs> oh. All right, the dream is still alive for Street Fighters Turbo Max. No rerolls. Final turn of the game. Ken is the only player who can score in this half and 
uh, draw this game out. Von Roo, thank you so much for the bits. Let's go, SC. He's taking a block first, gets a pal. Boy, I'd be scared to death with these blocks. <laughs> Trying to get some SVP on this ogre. Gets a stun. Is he gonna try? <laughs> SP, SP Beaver, thank you for the bits. Takes two die black, breaks armor, wow! Man, that thing will kill you. <laughs> All right, well, he's freed up Blanca. Is he got oh boy, takes another block, it's pal here. Saving the blitz for shipwreck, it looks like. Now he's opened up a hole so he can come. He can come in this way, take the block this way, and then a push is all he needs. But take it the other way, that's fine. But now, oh boy. All right, so the player's still going to be marked. Thirteen seconds left. Can he do it? He's got two minutes left on the clock. He's got a boy. He's got to do this this crazy handoff. Oh, I don't think it's good enough. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's he came in in the wrong space here. This lateral movement's gonna push him out of position, so now he can't score. Yeah, you can you can jump in this version of the rules. I don't know how to do it in in uh, BB3 though. <laughs> but yes, he can, he can jump over, you can jump over prone bodies and get there. That, well, you apparently, that's, that's how you do it. <laughs> so did try the jump, just didn't work out. Well done by both coaches. Dead Fred's gonna win this one, one to zero. Congratulations to the real American heroes. <laughs> Jared looks says, oh, he's lived days. <laughs> Destro, the MVP tonight. I agree with that. Dan, the MVP for SD? No. <laughs> Statistics for the evening. Oh, uh, yeah. Lots and lots of blocks by ST. We were expecting that. 25 for the real American heroes. 16 sustained injuries. You're going to see that on elf teams a lot. On uh, uh, Agile teams on AG teams a lot. Uh, they're, they're just gonna break, you know. Dark Elves are the more resilient of the Elves with the, uh, the AV8 or uh, AV9 plus. Uh, but you'll see Wood Elves with that AV8 plus, uh, they'll just, they'll fall and they're expensive. So you can find yourself in a death spiral when you start to lose a lot of those players. Uh, but you just have to expect to lose them and, and kind of keep them safe and play them to their strengths. Not a whole lot of SPP this evening, just six for ST, seven for the real American heroes. Well done by both coaches. That was a lot of fun to watch. And after that game, Cenozoic Park currently in the lead here in week number three, 2011 after their win this evening. I want to be like Doug in second place, Richard Cranium's Dwarven team. They are currently undefeated. And in third place, Stairway to Nuffle, El Nuberino's Underworld Denizens team. And that is the schedule for week number three. Coming up next will be this Saturday, January 27th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's UTC minus five. That's going to be Nuffle to see here versus Juxtapose, Juggernauts, Clypheus versus War Horseman. That's uh, Chaos Chosen versus uh, Chaos Renegades. And, uh, and then we have uh, a game scheduled for the following Sunday and two games, another doubleheader this coming Monday. And that'll do it for week number three. After the games of week three, the coaches will begin scheduling their week four games. And when those games get scheduled, you'll be able to check out and get alerted to those schedules on our website at mammal.club. That's M-A-M-L dot C-L-U-B here on Twitch 
or on our social media pages on Blue Sky, Twitter, and Facebook. You can also watch our previous games on our YouTube channel. Man, play Blood Bowl. Where else can Street Fighter characters play off against G.I. Joe <laughs> in a game of, of high fantasy football in the Warhammer universe? You can play Blood Bowl via Blood Bowl 3 on Steam, the Epic Game Store, PlayStation, and Xbox, and a tabletop form at your friend in the local game store until Saturday night, January 27th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening. Thanks, Vonroo. <laughs>